How's it going everybody? Now I'm here to give you travel tips number three and number two for traveling to the Philippines. The best ever travel tip I gave you a few weeks ago and I've linked to that video. Now there are more travel tips of course and these are the next two. So travel tip number three and there is a good and there is a bad one. Uh, there's a yin and there's a yang. There is something which you should do and which you should not do and you know that I'm not here, a promo agency right I'm giving like frank travel tips so should we start with the good one should we start with a not so good one I think we start with the good one which is learn to scuba dive or scuba dive when you come here or at least try scuba diving now um, what do I mean by try scuba diving if you're not a scuba diver uh, you can go to most, you know, reputable dive shops and you can do what's called a discover scuba diving experience Which means that you will go with a diving instructor You will get a little bit of training in the very shallow water in the pool and then you will do a one-on-one -on -one or one and -on two dive, you know, not very deep in close contact with that instructor. It's very safe It's a really really easy dive. So just it's not a, a full course and you can just spend half a day, you know, seeing if you like it. But you can also take a full course, takes about four days. Uh, or if you're already a scuba diver, you probably know how good scuba diving in the Philippines is. Now, my uh, you know, friend Kent Carpenter coined the term that uh, the Philippines are the, the center of the center of marine biodiversity. Uh, in the planet. So there will be no place other than uh, Western Indone uh, Eastern Indonesia and the Philippines and pa uh, you know, parts of Papua New Guinea where, which is called the coral triangle, where you will see that many different species of, uh, you know, corals, anemones, sea stars, and particularly marine fishes. So you know there are there's no other place in the world uh, you know this greater uh, area here where you will see so much different stuff underwater it's fantastic so you know this is really what my youtube channel is dedicated to the fantastic scuba diving in the philippines and then so yes so you might not know about this if you're not already a diver you know, you might want to come to the Philippines, just, you know, chill on the beach and see the country. That's all good. But, you know, if you're here, if you probably spend, a, you know, a day of travel from Europe or the US, don't miss the opportunity to do at least a Discover Scuba Diving Tri Dive. And, yeah, so that, you know, that's, that's a very good travel tip. Any questions you have about that, please ask in the comments now. So this is the yin, right? This is the yang. And the yang is really not that much of a yang. But um, I would recommend don't drive yourself. So often people, you know, I would meet these tourists who come here and then they go, yeah, you know, we would rent scooters and tomorrow we're going to rent scooters and we will drive up in the, into the mountains and for them and you know, it's like it has this this aura of you know, freedom you know we are exploring on our own but in reality what happens very often is uh, they get hurt on their own and there are several reasons you know there sometimes the roads here especially you know the side roads are rough roads and you know this is a poorer country than Europe nothing wrong with that but it's just a fact so there's less investment in infrastructure so you know that if you're used to driving in Austria whatever Denmark f France um, and then you come here you all of a sudden you know you you would encounter these really rough roads and uh, you know you you end up on your ass and then you know so then sometimes the next day i would see these uh tourists you know who had rented a scooter coming to a dive shop and going yeah you know we booked a dive yesterday but you know look at our arm we we fell during our scooter tour and we were all scratched up and you know we went to the doctor and we can't get in in the water for two weeks so we have to cancel our scuba diving which is unfortunate so don't do that also you know there is 
you know, creative chaos, to put it in a positive way on the roads here. And that's just the way it is. There are fewer people who are serious about traffic rules. And often that's actually pretty entertaining when you're driving. But if you're not used to that, if you, again, if you're coming from, you know, ultra discipline Euroland or, you know, from the US where like the sheriff will grab you if you, uh, if you speed, right? And then you come here, you will not uh, be doing well uh, in the beginning with driving. And so if you're just here for a vacation, it's not worth the stress. So I've actually had a few small accidents here and none of them were my fault. And the, these were all motorcycles hitting my car. And in most cases actually, so, the, so there was never any injury to anybody and very little damage, but in most cases the other party, and these were often teenagers who probably didn't have a, a license at all, and they would just do a hit and run and they would get out of the car to see if they're okay. And I guess they were okay because they were gone. And so, you know, you, people just sometimes don't look when they do a left turn or sometimes people go on the wrong side of the road. And if you're not used to that and if you plan to rent a car and drive, you know, from one end to the other end of a province, you're going to be pretty stressed. You might have an accident and you will not enjoy that part of the, your vacation. So take a bus, which is actually good because often, you know, it's uh, you're immersed. Uh, it's easy to chat up somebody in the bus. So people will chat you up. And then, you know, that's a good experience. And uh, number two, or, you know, take a little bit more pricey, but uh, take a private car, you know, rent a van costs like 150 euro for like a transfer you can look at the landscape you can chill and your driver who is used to that kind of stuff will uh, take care of the traffic now if I've met people here who gotten really upset at the you know, aggressive driving of the van driver and that's not a good attitude to have so here we have it uh, you know travel tip number one for the Philippines Go to this video uh travel tip number two is don't drive on the roads here take a bus take a private van travel tip number three is learn to scuba dive scuba dive or try to scuba dive i hope you're enjoying these tips there will be more critters underwater next week and uh, see ya okay now that you've made it that far, thank you for watching my videos. I think they are educational. I hope they're sometimes entertaining and funny. So there are a couple of things of how you can uh, support the channel, which is, you know, like, share these videos on your own social media. Uh, if you want to directly contribute to my, you know, filmmaking here underwater and on land in the Philippines, travel vlogging, uh, I put my paper link in the description. Also, I have a couple of books out which you might enjoy. So, this is The Life of Gobies. Gobies are prominently featured on this channel. And there's a lot of extra natural history uh, in this book. And, you know, I think there are very nice photographs by me and about a photo legend, Marty Snyderman. So get this, uh, link is also in the description. Of course, there are two more books uh, out. And one I can't, like, physically show you because it's an ebook only it's called your brain on diving it's about scuba diving physiology and how it interacts with your brain so it's the neuroscience of scuba diving and this is uh, with Hübner in Germany and yeah you can order that it's a good read I think it's uh, you know scientifically very up to date but you know there's no jargon so uh, the interested layperson will understand it and coming out very soon will be 25 future dives I wrote this with uh, you know prominent coral biologist sensei James Reimer and from the University of Syracuse and this book talks about environmental problems in the ocean and 
each environmental problem we explain via a dive briefing and a dive so you know we instead of doing like a beautiful dive to see sharks we are doing a dive to see plastic in the ocean or we're doing a dive to see bleached corals so you know this should appeal to the diver to the ocean lover to the person interested in the, the environment and um yeah check it out coming out soon with asian geographic and um thanks for tuning in